So we're here at the ID Tech X Berlin right here in 2018. And uh, so who are you? Hi, uh, I'm Karl Bamlu Arashi. I'm representing a company called MS Innovation. So uh, we are a company solely looking forward and the developments in the area of smart textiles and the e-textiles domain. So it says uh, mass innovation. So where, where are you based? So we are a Sri Lankan based company and our core business is uh, circulating between the, uh, the, the textile domain and uh, the giant partners like Victoria's Secrets, Nike, Adidas, and Ram. Are and they manufacturing in Sri Lanka? Yeah, ex including All these brands. everything. The Lululemon, and uh, we got like 94,000, uh, the Carter inside our company, working throughout the world. 94,000? 94,000. Like employees? Like employees, yeah. So it's a big textile company. Yes, so we are the biggest textile manufacturer in the Asia outside the China. So, and, and you are working towards the e-textile, the smart... So for example, your jacket maybe will have a brain and you can touch the... the sh what, what will happen, you think? Yeah, for example, uh, we now got a project called the uh, TouchTex. So here we are trying to incorporate touch sensitivity into the fabrics. As you might have seen this as a project called Google Jacquard. So in that case, they are having a, a capacitor-based touch sensing. But here we are trying to incorporate a resistive-based touch sensing plus the force sensing. So by this one, you can give the XY coordinates plus the force sensing. And force with e-textile is easy or is very difficult? The e-textile is a, a greatest enabler for us to, uh, to enable this touch sensor into the fabrics. Because the biggest advantage for us right now is how to get the bendability, how to get the fabric feeling into the garment while maintaining the conventional garment properties. So with all the e-textiles, it couldn't be done. So the e-textile is a greatest enabler for us to incorporate these, these fabric properties into the smart garments. So without saying any secrets or anything, how long have you been focusing on this? So we have been doing this uh, innovation business uh, like uh, eight years of time, and we are still continuing it right now. So it's been a long yes. process, Yes. but any products released or still in the research? Absolutely, yes. I mean, we are like a, like a prominent partner when it comes to the e-textiles and the smart textiles, and we are collaboratively working with uh, Microsoft, Google, and uh, for like our first product that we launched called the Ethos. So it is a product that we were looking forward to track your muscle activity while, doing, while you are doing your workout sessions. So uh, for example, you are doing your workout and sometimes you are focusing on one muscle, but it does, sometimes it not be working right now. Some, some, muscle, some, some other muscle might be working, but with a simple mobile application, you can track the, whatever the muscles that you are working right now is actually working or not. So we can track your, we can map your muscle activity and with that one you can clearly measure and you can clearly identify what are the muscles that are still working, what are the muscles are actively not working or idly. So there is one product that we launched and we launched another product, uh, we collaboratively working, worked with a product called uh, Lumo and uh, it is like activity tracker and we had to develop all the integrations, the ele electronics and the algorithm part was done in the Lumo end. And the textile domain integration and making everything into like a nice washable garment, that's what was done by my entity. It's all washable? Yes, it is 25 it's times. Nice. Sorry. 25 times? 25 times machine washable. Is that uh, enough? That is enough. That is the specs that has been uh, required by the manufacturer itself. But if, so, if the manufacturer is requesting for like a 50, 75, 100 wash cycles, we got a strategy for it. You have another strategy for different wash cycles? Yes, we got different integration strategies at different price points. So what I've seen also is a heart rate monitoring, a humidity sensor, okay. uh, steps, uh, other things, right? And yeah. posture, the posture. Posture, yes. Like you can have a little accelerometer in there or something? Yeah. Gyro? Uh, for example, we already developed this, uh, the brain node called Project Heidi's. So at that time, we were looking forward for like our new set, how to mini miniaturize electronics and incorporate that electronics into a garment. Because currently, if you see most of the wearables and most of the smart garments in the market right now, it's pretty heavy and the cumbersome. That sleek factor is missing right now. And our sole objective is how to make electronics into the garment, but karma cannot be distinguished between uh, conventional everyday garment and the smart garment. You won't see a big difference between this, our smart garment and the conventional garment. You could be wearing it right now. Yes, could be. Potentially. Yes. And there could be some awesome technology in your tie, for example. You could like, tit -tit -tit, you can answer an SMS, maybe. Definitely, and maybe yes. uh, the jacket has uh, some kind of... Yeah, take for example, like you, if you can use our touch text uh, platform that has been developed right now, you can incorporate whatever touch button that you want. And if you want to just reject a call that is incoming, 
you don't need to take your mobile phone out of your pocket. You can just tap our touch sticks, uh, the buttons that is incorporated into your smart garment. And not only that, if you are wearing this one and if you while you're listening to your song, so if you want to skip the song, if you need to uh, enhance or decrease the volume and the stuff, without taking your mobile phone out from your jacket, you can use our touch text platform and you can control your mobile phone without taking anything out. So it's Bluetooth, a low yeah. energy Bluetooth? Yes, it is Bluetooth 4.0. PCB, small PCB? Very small. With and it is again battery washable. Or what kind of yeah, ba the battery is the three volt is more than enough for us. And it's a removable battery, and everything can be sleekly incorporated into the fabric. And uh, you won't see a big difference between that fabric and that garment and the conventional jacket. I think it'd be cool if you could recharge from the, you know, where you hang your clothes in the cupboard. Yeah. What's True. it called? The, the NFC, the near field charging. Yeah, some kind of charger in the cupboard. Yes. Automatically. Automatically. So that is a very same principle that, is, that we are utilizing right now. It is called the, the NFC charging. That is pretty established principle. So nothing need to be plugged out. So we got the, the near field charging devices that, is being, uh, uh, that can be purchased with the garment itself. So you can equip that is into your wardrobe, your, your cupboard, or your bedroom, something like that. So without uh, making any changes to your lifestyle, you can easily use our garments. And the 94,000 employees in your company, uh, they can all be uh, switched to e-textiles easily? Definitely, yes. That is our North Star right now. But, so, uh, potentially, yeah. if this becomes a huge market, mm -hmm. you just switch to factory? Yes. Our core business is still on the conventional garments, uh, the lingeries, the underwears for the Victoria's Secrets, and the smart garments, and the, uh, the active wear for the Adidas, Under Armour, and the leisure wear for the Lululemon and stuff. Uh, the most of our revenues come prices uh, with the cash inflows that is coming from that kind of industries. Because of that particular thing, that particular uh, potential, we just started this entity called MS Innovation just to look forward for the for the upcoming textiles. So that's how we initiated these uh, initiatives like uh, electronics in the garment, the wearable electronics, the active and passive intelligent garments and the stuff. So have you been to the IDTechX show before? Uh, this is my first time in the IDTech X, but one of few of my colleagues were visiting, and uh, the day uh, year before this one, updates, and the, for the very first one, and the most of our people are pretty familiar to the industry people that is uh, uh, attending here. So uh, what we was are. Your experience so far with the conference. It's a very good experience, and uh, we we got a very good ecosystem, and the networking is excellent right now. And this is the day before, right? This is. Masterclass day. Yes, even tomorrow with the masterclass. Tomorrow will be a big uh, exhibition and everything. Yes, the tomorrow that we are uh, anticipating a very good uh, ecosystem partner that need to be connected with just to empower our innovations in a much greater potential. Uh, but even with the masterclasses, I can see there's so many high level of participation levels and the stuff, and the people from different industry with the different perspectives, and uh, the network level is pretty much excellent. And uh, with that, I can see that the people can share the ideas and uh, collaborate towards for a greater potentials. Uh, do you think I'm, I'm right when I think, when I say that uh, e-textiles is the next iPhone? Because yes. it's going to be so big. Everybody needs clothes. Mm -hmm. Everybody yes. buys clothes. It's very important to buy the clothes. Yes. But you will choose the one with the smart inside. Yes. So it will be a huge market. True. When I'm it's ready, when it's really launched. Yes, I mean, this market is a technology pushed market. I mean, the, the customer doesn't know what they want right now. Take example of the iPhone that you already mentioned. At 2004, nobody expected the iPhone. But when the iPhone is in the market, everybody was looking forward for iPhone. But like, let's say in countries like Sri Lanka, yes. or in China and many other places, it's very easy to buy an iPhone copy. Yes. For like $50, yes. right? Yes. So that's, that's not about, I'm not promoting copies, but it's just saying that Maybe the business is not going to be so big for smartphones anymore in the future. If yes. there's more and more competition, yes. But there will be new markets like e-textile. Yes, for the e-textile, the same situation can be happen. I mean, when when you see the the market is blooming, and you can see so many followers are copying your inventions and your innovations. That is and that should be anticipated. But uh, when it comes to e-textile, it is still emerging market, and we can see so many players are playing hardly in the market. And uh, we are trying to make our stance on the market to be the first mover. First move is important, but I also think it's going to be important to have a good brand, yes. good quality, yes. and people are going to choose it. It yes. doesn't matter if it's more expensive 
because you don't want to have e-textile that doesn't work. Yes. Right? Yes, true. So it's important to have quality control and, uh, and very efficient and, and very well functioning, right? True. 100% agree on your point. So that's why we have already started this company comprises 120 people and majority like 60 to 80% of the people comprises of the engineers and the scientists solely working forward just to realize innovation in the e-textile arena. So those people are the top in class when it comes to their competencies. That's why we are getting the attention from the profound manufacturers like Google, Amazon and the Microsoft. So we are one of the ecosystem partners right now. That's amazing, but it would be great if those companies you, you mentioned, because they have so much cash in yes, the bank. Yes, true. They should, in, if there is an amazing new material hmm. in this show, that somebody show an amazing new, potentially e-textile material, but maybe it needs 100 million or a billion dollars before it can be ready for the market, you know? They, they, should, they should invest. Yes, true, absolutely. Yes, that, that is what we are expecting from, uh, from an event like this. I mean, we need to identify the blooming opportunities and we need to identify, identify the potential startups. And uh, we need to identify what are the disrupting techs that is being exploited here. And we need to take that risk just to take the required things into the market just by giving the required investment that is uh, looking forward from yeah. a, a rapid Either entities. you take the risk or maybe a company like your partner, Google, Amazon, and Facebook, or uh, Microsoft. Yes. For them, it should be a no-brainer. They should just do it. No, and I hope they don't wait for Apple to do first. Yes, know? true, true. Because maybe Apple is going to do e-textiles. Yeah, maybe, maybe. But when it comes to this domain, the, the experience matters, the learning curve matters. So we have developed so many texts. When it comes to the core text, like when it comes to the parable text, we got four different fundamental uh, platforms, starting from the conductive pathways, in, encapsulations, interconnections, and the stuff. Even though you are very excels in the electronics, but if you don't have a proper interconnection method, if even though you are very excels in the electronics, if you don't have proper encapsulation method, you can't survive in the e-textiles market. So, so that is the area that we are excelling right now. That is the area that we have gained so much of a knowledge and we have pooled knowledge on that area. That's why so many companies are investing on us, yeah. looking forward, forward to work with us. And we have realized so many projects when it comes to the e-textiles domain. So the, the, what you just mentioned is the connecting like the PCB kind of it could be yeah. connecting yes. to the sensor, connecting to the connecting sensor, connecting to the battery, connecting to the battery, or connecting, connecting battery into the conductive pathways. It has to be flexible but very durable. It should be flexible right? and the durable. So we got our own state-of-the-art methods to how to make the, the electronics more flexible, how to make the interconnections more flexible, how to make interconnections more robust enough, waterproof, waterproof. Because at the end of the day, our garment should withstand against like at least 25 times of uh, me mechanical washers. It is a very hard task and also to be achieved. Sweat, sweat, and uh, the and and the other external stimuli, everything, and uh, that our garment should be stand against almost all the stimuli and the external interferences, and we have gained so many knowledge and the practices, state of the art knowledge, especially, and uh, those are the enablers for us when it comes to the in this game. And what is the encapsulating? Encapsulation means, for example, if you need to incorporate any kind of electronics into your garment, we need to make sure that it is pro properly waterproof. So, so encapsulation is a way that we are applying our own conformal coatings and our own uh, thermoplastic materials to make sure the flexibility is maintained plus the washability is maintained. And we are make sure that if your specification is like a 25 cycles, no water penetration would be there up to 25 cycles. If it is 50, the same case. So the coating is like nano coating is uh, some it could kind be of a nano oven. coating it could be a micro coating if somebody is asking for a nano coating we got a solution for it and we got ecosystem partners for it if somebody is asking for a, like a micro conformal coating again we got ecosystem again we got a proper partners for it and uh, do all these uh, e textile product my website is called arm devices do they all have small arm processors okay. right now they all have small microcontrollers right yes yes uh, and so there's software developers also. Yes. And you have you have yeah, in yeah. your company. Yes, uh, we are basically looking forward on the open innovation. The open innovation in the sense of we are believing in the existing text because the learning curves matters at the end of the day. Because we know if company A is excels in A's, A's technology, if the company B excels in B's technology, as a company as MS Innovations want to merge company A and B, we know that a conglomeration between A and B would realize a uh, product C. So we are not going to start from the scratch. We are, we are excelling in identifying the proper ecosystem partners, and we are excelling in connecting the dots.
at the end of the day, we are connecting the dots to get whatever the product that we want to achieve in the optimum conditions. Cool. So looking for, I'm really looking forward to the e-textile. I want this to, to launch in a big way and be revolutionary. And hopefully, consumers will understand that it's really useful to buy it. Absolutely, yes. I mean, and not only for people who do a lot of running and sports. That's a cool market, but I think it should be for everybody. Yeah, definitely. The, the medical space is a still wide space for us. I mean, for example, like the, the telemedicine is a like emerging factor right now. Even in Sri Lanka, we got so many startups solely looking forward for like a telemedicines. So currently, the, the, the biggest trends in the market right now is people doesn't want to move here and there. They want to stay at home. They want to be live in a connected world. So uh, the leisure, the running, and the activity market would be a one thing, but the telemedicines and in, even in the furniture, because uh, if you can embed the e into the furniture, you can control the whatever device that you want just by sitting on your sofa. You can control your TV, you can control your, your, your AC devices, so anything that you want. That'd be so cool. Absolutely, yes. That'd be like revolutionizing IKEA. It is revolutionizing anything, and it is a big enabler just to acquire the upcoming market. Even for the, this furniture, 2.0 would be e-textile embedded furniture. The medicine 2.0 would be that e-textile embedded uh, smart garments. It needs to be in a pillow, maybe in the duvet, cover in the bed. It could be anything. In the, in the mattress. It could be anything because we are trying to incorporate e-textile into the fabric itself. Fabric can be amended into whatever the shape that you want. And then you could maybe get some haptics to, that wakes you up in the bed at the right time when the you're right ready time. to wake up. Yes. But it needs to be, somebody needs to put it out there in the market. And people are going to buy it if it Absolutely, works. Absolutely, yes. If yes. it works. Yeah, I strongly believe in that factor. I mean, the only thing is the power consumption, the, the price factor, everything needs to be matched out. Because currently, to be honest with you, uh, when it comes to smart garments, the price factor, we are not giving a right product at right price. Because still, since the market, market is very much niche, they are using premium pricing. That's why we are acquiring a very niche market, but we need this to be disrupted and we need to scale up the productions. Is it possible to print it like roll to roll and flexible electronics and lower yes. the cost? Yes, even when you come to the, the biopotential sensors and the conductive pathways, we are still using that kind of a tech, I mean, printing on top of the garment. Cool, so looking forward uh, to maybe, maybe at the next show, you will have some samples, right? You Absolutely, share. yes. So we are, I'm really looking forward to just to be a, a exhibiting partner here just uh, not by coming to as attendee. Uh, because, but uh, we are exhibiting all samples in the Consumer Electronics Show, CES, in 2018 in Las Vegas. And then the ISPO Munich. Was it popular booth yes, at the CES? Absolutely, yes. And uh, I don't know why we haven't... Uh, Maybe, what, what I hope is that the next show, you have uh, all your clothes you're wearing is all smart. Yes, That'd I mean... Be cool. the, because you have to use your own technology. Absolutely, yes. Not only and talk the, about it. Yes, yes, true, true on that. And the next tech that we are looking for right now is uh, the active lighting tech. We got two products uh, for Firefly and Nova. So that is for the runners. So if you are running in the dark, you will you, it's not be uh, confined into the like illumination tapes uh, arena. So now you can have the active lighting. So that light can be flexible visible, OLED? flexible, washable lighting. Is it OLED? No, it is no. a conventional LED, okay. not OLED. OLED if we use OLED, the, the price factor would be much higher. Oh, yeah. So now, but we have developed all encapsulation integration technologies that conventional electronics can be incorporated into the garments. Right, in so a you can light manner. up in the You dark. can light up. Cool. And uh, you can use for like a four hours, hours of period after the uh, 30 minutes of char charging cycle. And, and uh, that's a great for a party also. Yes. People, they want to go to the party, they want to be the attention. So it needs to be in like, uh, you know, not only in runner clothes, yes. in the party clothes too. You got endless opportunities with that one. All right. So it's got to be an exciting job you have, right? Yes, absolutely. Yes. Cool.